UFOs have been with us since the beginning of time. Man has looked to the stars and wondered, is there anything out there besides me? Is there anyone else out there besides me? I come from the third world. Now, how long have you been on this planet? I uh, believe I've been here for almost uh, one millennium, which is your seven month period on this earth. Right. And where did you come from exactly? I come from the third world, which is on the other side of Jupiter. Mm -hmm. And it's a small star, which is, we've been here for a long time. Now, are you a benevolent alien? You, you, you intend to cause no harm to the people of Earth, or are you looking to take no, over? No, we don't, we don't, we don't want no harm. We come here to learn and to adapt. Yeah. Do you, um, do you, are you actually involved with the government? Do you run any of the things here on Earth? Are you in secret talks with the government? Well, right now, I've been pursued, but I know about a few other beams that yeah they're involved with the government. I see. And these are these different types of aliens or yes, the same as there's you? different types of aliens. They're like uh, from different galaxies and different stars. Mm -hmm. They are now working with the government to create new uh, deadly and legal weapons. Yeah. Yeah. Now how do you like our world? Are you gonna be staying here for a while or will you be moving? Well I like your world because it's in a way not all the pictures we get is so peaceful and depends on the humanity or the person. So yes, I would think to stay here for a little while and learn more about the humanity of these human beings on this earth. Oh, thank you. Finally, my final question is, uh, what advice would you give to Earthlings as far as um, being able to get off the planet and go out to live you know, on other worlds? Um, uh, stop using your five cents. Stop. Start using your six cents. Mm -hmm. So that will develop your other part of your mind that you have from us, and it will move you to the other stage. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. And I'm sorry. Many people. Hi, how are you? How long have you been an alien on our planet? Uh, it's a good disguise. People, people seem to fall for it. Uh, I, I, uh, I just wondered why, why didn't you decide to dress as a person? How long do you plan to be on the Earth? Are you going to be staying here for a while, or will you be taking off to other planets? Well, thank you for your time. The scientific numbers conclude that a large number of Americans believe they have actually seen an alien being, or perhaps a spaceship floating in the sky. These scientists also say with their statistics that it could be possible for an alien bending time and space to reach our planet 
in under a nanosecond and begin to do the evil that aliens do. And so, what we've done is gone undercover to investigate this phenomenon of aliens disguised as human beings. We've interviewed many, many people, and with our scientists we were able to detect which of these people were in fact aliens, which of them were in fact real, ordinary human beings. From this research, we have culled this video tape to prove to you the intention of the aliens and the theory behind their philosophical wanderings amongst galaxy we know today to be very, very large indeed. I could be one of them. Now we will show you the video that will astonish you, make you wonder if we are alone in the universe or in fact accompanied by aliens who are trying to take over the United States government in order to manipulate the system for their Saturday, I was in my backyard, just trimming trees. I was thinking about, uh, you know, what I was going to do the next week, and, and I heard some rustling over behind the uh, the woodshed, and and, and uh, I was like, well, what what is that? What, what's that noise? And I thought it was some kind of animal, you know, coming through through my neighbor's yard, like maybe a dog or I don't know, a deer, you know, who knows? And then I, I look over and it's this humanoid form, that this the shape coming at me and, and going making this noise and, and I, I ran inside really quick and I grabbed my video camera and I, I ran outside and, and I, I began filming him and, and he kept going and then and all, I, I couldn't make it out and then suddenly there was this, this tickling inside of my head and, and, and this, this little message suddenly just appeared inside of my head don't don't go there, don't go there, and it was, it's like I, I was hearing him go, and then, but inside my head, and inside my head, he, he was speaking clear, clearly, it, it must have been, I don't know, t telepathy or something, and, and he said, don't, don't go to the Tom Miller show, don't go there, don't go there, and I, and I said, whoa, whoa, how, how did you know I was going to go to the Tom Miller show, and he said, don't go, don't go to the Tom Miller show, it'll be the He came towards me and he was coming through the trees. No, don't go to the Tom Miller show. And then he grabbed my camera and he three eyes. And there was ooze on my arms. Ah, it's freaking me out, man. And I passed out. I passed out. I blacked out. Serious shit. There's no way I'm gonna go to the Tom Miller show. This is Shamrock McShane, and you're watching the Tom Miller show live on television at the Shamrock. 